Where's that? Is a protein shake down there? Yeah. How you know? You don't really? my protein. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. How, how much? How many protein shakes a day do you take? Um. Well, I try to do at least two scoops in okay. the morning. I take it because then after work I go to the gym. Okay. Um, but I started really UMP. Have you ever heard of that protein uh -uh. shake? Uh -uh. Um, it's like 30% protein. Uh -huh. So, um, it helps like with muscle. So I'm trying to get, you know, back my buddy, okay. my buddy in shape. But, okay. um, I did decided to do it this afternoon. Mixed with Sprite? Well, what happened was, okay, so there's Mariano's, let me tell you. And I usually what I do is I'll take my drink and I'll take some like freshly squeezed, like either orange juice okay. or watermelon juice. Because okay. watermelon is great. Great for, it's super, uh, got a, a great for hydration. Exactly. So I d decided they didn't have it at the Mariano's and I got. And inflammation, I think too. Yeah. So I got freshly squeezed uh, lemon juice and it is like. <laughs> you know, like I'm really straight lemon. Yeah, no like so water, no, no no sugar. No sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's super tart. So I was like, I have put water in there to try right. to kind of subdue it, but right. it's not working, and so I'm not really liking it right now. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then I put my biotin in there. So yeah. Get the <laughs> yeah, you get know. Get the nails right. <laughs> you gotta do it. Get that biotin. <laughs> you okay. know. Okay. okay. You I, see you. <laughs> I take biotin every day too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do you? Yeah, you know. We, you know why? It helps with your skin too. My mom. My mom took it, so I just grew up taking it. Like, oh really? took it yeah so like okay so like it was just a thing where it was just like something Biotin, that, yeah, yeah it's just yeah. one of those things i take in the morning yeah Good. so it, it I mean, does I really do it help every day i probably do it every other day well you still like got a nice still, head of hair so i need a haircut but you that's know. a whole no you all good you all good thing. but it's great talking to you first you of all um i'm a little mad because we're not gonna get like a long time with you like you were on the breakfast club club just recently mm -hmm. and you were really uh you know you got they got a whole all of jay <laughs> but i'm only getting five minutes of jay they got today. like 30 something 40 yeah, minutes yeah yeah. yeah 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 but let's let's talk about why you're here at macy's yeah. first of all yeah. um celebrating black, black history, history month absolutely what is black history month how important is that for you to celebrate and talk about it uh it's insanely important you know i think it's, it's interesting i grew up moving around so much so for a long time black history month was something that i kind of missed um because i wasn't around for it and then once we were here i and getting the opportunity to actually experience it and and getting to live in a place where i went to high school actually even more so because it's so had such deep roots in history and in black history and and just learning some of those stories and the stories of those that weren't told and the stories that were forgotten and the stories that we kind of take for granted mm -hmm. and you know black history month to me is just bringing all those stories to light again and kind of honoring all those people who've paid the way for us to be sitting here today right who right. who have paved the way for our 44th president you know what i mean and the the road the roads that he's paved for people, you know, going forward. And so I think it's insanely important that we always, you know, kind of give back and we honor and, and, and respect those who were before us and teach, right, you know, it's, exactly. it's also a thing of like, it's just not taught in school. So right, this is I an opportunity to teach mm -hmm. people of, you know, how, you know, people with melanin in their skin have, have had massive massive impact on the way this country is shaped mm -hmm. and and you know and civil rights yeah is there anything in school that you're like damn i'm kind of mad that i didn't learn this earlier and that you're finding out now going back and, and learning about black history or some of your an or some of the you know ancestors or people that paved the way yeah you know there's a couple things that have come out recently that i didn't really didn't really know of um, one of Walt Disney's chief animators was a black cat. Mm. Um, hidden uh, figures. Hidden I didn't figures. Know about, I didn't, I didn't know, about know about hidden figures. Yeah. Um, the guy who birthed the internet was actually a black cat. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, there's things, and these are all things that I found out again in the last few weeks. And you know, since since Black History Month started, and it's it's just dope. It's dope to it know is. that like that we're a part of that. It you is. know, and that that we've created and have been a part of some movements and and things that you know hopefully will stand the test of time you know to this point they have they've they've you know the internet is the biggest thing on the planet right now probably the one True. the single biggest thing on the planet right now is probably literally probably the internet you know obviously it's all digital and zeros and ones but 
you know, that's amazing to know that somebody did that. It's also amazing to know that one of Disney's chief animators was a black cat and Disney, Walt Disney was not known to necessarily I like know. black people. You know, it's so, a little something, yeah. you know. So before they brush you off, because yeah. I'm trying to wrap everything up really quickly. Let's talk about Insecure. I got a chance to okay. interview Issa. Mm -hmm. and e. E. Yeah. Issa. Issa. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You yeah. good. You good. And, um we talked about the show yeah. but i didn't really get to talk about it in depth right this role for you is awesome i think thank you um i got a little mad at you don't I get say, mad why because i was like really but so what did why he do gonna, wrong okay he didn't do anything wrong but it was kind of like a revenge screw okay. situation okay and why even we do know that? what kind of program this is we don't say that word <laughs> No, we don't say, say that word. I was going to say it, but I didn't, I wanted to be a little lady. -like. Fair, okay. fair enough. You everybody, know? I lo everybody loves a lady. You know, um, so we can go nasty. But <laughs> no, I no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So we, I just felt like, why not try to work on it? Why have? Why go? I mean, I know it's the writers, and they and they write what you got to do. Right. But. But I think they're writing. No, I'm sorry. Finish. No, sorry. go ahead. No, you I know, I, I think they're writing something that's real, though. I mean, this isn't, you know, I think what we have grown accustomed to is like this Hollywood ending where like we it's supposed to finish perfectly and we want it to be all buttoned up and be nice. But life isn't like that all the time. Some of us have had our heart broken and we go to a dark place, yeah. whether it's we close up and we don't date or or Me. right or whether it's <laughs> you're a dude and you wild out um and you you don't date but you have plenty of fun you know what i'm saying like whatever it is i think those are the things that our writers are really trying to explore and did so, you for your character did you feel like that was the direction that you were okay with it going or were you like man i kind of wish he would have at least given i mean i'm you know i'm i'm inside it so i listen i i i like it because i've experienced it through friends mm -hmm. so i know through two of my really really close friends i have watched this happen to them so for me i think i liked it because it was like yo i want you to know we're representing you on television okay. like you are now for the first time not, maybe not for the first time but like in maybe the most authentic truest way i think you are now seeing your experience on tv so i liked it for that and there's you know listen we're not going nowhere <laughs> hbo is bringing us back yes, and I'm back so and happy, back because so, i really it's a really good show they got plenty of time to get back together it's a really really good show yeah let's try to work on getting <laughs> them back together let's talk about a little bit and I, I got one more question mm -hmm. i'm gonna get it out um, I saw something long ago where you were talking about how you're single mm -hmm. and you're mingling. Are mm -hmm. you still single and mingling? Because I know a lot of ladies I think am, you I am not very... single. Okay, no. see, he's off the market. I'm off the market. <sighs> Finally, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's someone that's going to pick you up really I'm, quickly. I'm off the market. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, happy uh, Black History Month. You too. And uh, looking forward to more and secure yeah thank you this uh hopefully this summer okay cool. i don't know if i'm supposed to say that so maybe you should edit that part out but uh yeah okay in 2017 2017 <laughs> yeah, it's coming yeah, yeah, all yeah. right cool well have a great rest of your you night too. and uh enjoy chicago it's kind of cold thank you it's very cold yeah no, not kind of <laughs> i was in la and i'm like ah when i came back here i was like ah! yeah this is real it's yeah. like in your bones yeah no seriously yeah. you don't understand last week i came back from you know and i didn't get to do like grammys weekend but i came back and i didn't have my jacket and right. everything right. prepared right. for it and i was like what did i do like <laughs> where am i really all right jay great talking to you you too thank you